welcome to our Epic Shuffle practice video. Now, just a reminder about Epic Shuffle, it is like Caterpillar March or any song that has a bracket around the lines that actually indicates that those three lines would be played at the same time. So we have to remember that when I say line one and we're playing it all the way through, we actually skip to the first line of each bracket to make sure that we're going forward in the song and not actually just playing down the line because that would just be playing the same measures over and over, even though they're different parts. So just a quick reminder on that and make sure that you are playing through correctly on this. Okay, so in this video, we're just gonna hit each of the lines. And um, why don't we start on the first line? The first line will say violin one, viola one, cello bass one, depending on what you play. And um, this is actually the harder of the parts, so why don't we just get it out of the way? So um, I see some lift symbols at the end of the first line and second line. The rest of the song, we don't have to worry about lifts, but let's make sure we're doing those lifts when we see them. And um, we have a lot of eighth notes in this song. Sometimes they're repetitive, like, you know, maybe pepperoni, pizza, and we change on the pizza. But there are a few spots, if you look at like measure four, for example, we have F sharp, D, F sharp, D, F sharp, and we actually have to be able to switch our fingers really quick, a little bit more like the ears. So why don't we try actually the first line of the first page? So basically looking at your music, we're gonna do the first line of the first page. Let's kind of like make a goal or go kind of like a medium tempo, not too slow, not too fast as you're practicing this. You can do this as many times to master it. You can repeat the video. Okay, here we go. So finding our A and getting into playing position. Don't forget to do those lists when you see them at the end of the first and second line. Here we go, ready? One and two and ready, go. page on that third bracket. Um, why don't we check in and see how you did. You can review that if you need to and then let's move on to the second page. So same thing. We're actually going to be starting at measure 13. So that is the second page there and still doing that first line all the way down the page. Are you ready? Starts on A. Got some eighth notes. Make sure you're paying attention. Here we go. One and two and ready go. same thing where we just try the first page and then the second page of that second line. Now the second line is it'll say violin two, viola two, cello bass two, whichever uh, instrument you play. Um, this one doesn't have as many note changes really at first, but if you take a look at measure nine on that second line, that is looking pretty intense with some changes between D and E, E and F sharp. So just make sure you're looking for the skips and jumps as well. Okay, so why don't we try the second line of each bracket all the way down the first page. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, ready, go.
page. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna do the second page. So again, that's measure 13. And it starts very similar to where we just ended. And we'll do that second line all the way down the brackets on that second page. Are you ready? Here we go. And one and two and ready, go. Okay, great. Now, the third line, easiest of them all. I think we could probably actually do the whole song straight through. Um, I will say 13 when we get to that second page, so you know where we are if you did get lost. Okay, lots of half notes. And we'll go a little faster just because this would be eventually faster. And half notes are easy. So let's try it out. Ready? Play in position. And one, two, ready, go. I tried to throw on 17. Hopefully you did, it didn't mess you up too much. And um, practice any parts of this video as many times as you can to be a pro at Epic Shuffle.